Hey, welcome to Google Bytes. Robbie I'll be giving you hints and tips on using Google in the classroom in only a minute or two. So today I just wanted to demonstrate how to set up group work in Google Classroom. Really easy to do. So to do so, I would set an assignment as I normally would, but instead of giving it to all students, if you see in this Dropbox here, I have the option of unchecking that and assigning work to individual students. So let's say I have set up the groups that my students will be working in. I can go and check off the names of my first group and I'll call this group one. And I'll do this so I can differentiate between the different groups. So when the students start adding work to this, they can upload work in the form of slideshows or Google Drive, uh, sorry, Google Docs, um, then that work will be populated in Google Drive folders. So it's good to have them labeled differently so I know whose work is whose. Now, if I'm going to add assign work to this in the form of a Google Doc, I will do so the same way. What I'm probably most likely going to want to do is assign this so that students can edit the file. As I do that, the students in that particular group will be given that Google Doc to work on collaboratively, and I'll be able to access that uh, through my Google Drive. And after I assign that, I would go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the groups in my class.